Hey guys, it's me, Neil Tilta, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to be a Gorilla Tag YouTuber. I'm going through every single step you need from high quality recording, from exporting the video, even if you don't have a PC, and um, editing that video, and, make, and possibly making thumbnails at the end of the video. That might be a new video. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. So, first things first, if you're on Quest 2, which I assume most of you are, if you want better recording quality, go to your settings, and then you look for experimental, and then you scroll, and then you see this, advanced camera settings, turn that on, and then you see your little camera button. Now once you're in here, press settings. Now, what you can do, once you scroll down here, is you can change how it records. So most of the time when you record, it's 1080 by 1080, but now, which is a little cube, but now, it's 1920 by 1080, which means it's a rectangle, so you guys watching YouTube can see it in a, a way better way. So I recommend turning that on, but if you want to do it for shorts, turn on portrait, and it's vertical, instead of sideways <clears throat> and then make sure your frame rate is as high as it can go and if you want amazing quality especially for montages this is usually on 5 MB PS um, I recommend turning that up to 20 or possibly 15 if you don't want a lot of storage but 20 makes your videos look way better it does take up more storage on your quest but you can just delete the videos after you post them off your quest um, so yeah now, once you get a little clip, I recommend recording like a 15 second clip right now, um, or like soon here, once you're maybe done watching this video, and you can just go back to this part. So what you're going to want to do to export it the way for, it's a really easy way. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your app library, search up browser, and you can see right there. MetaQuest browser. Now once you do that, and you're in here, um, you are going to want to press the YouTube ip icon or search up YouTube right here. So I'm just going to press the YouTube icon. And once you're there, wait for it to load. Press the upload button. And press... And then scroll down and press skip to YouTube. Uh, skip to YouTube Studio, sorry. Um, once you're there, you're gonna see something that says select files. You may have to press this up to like 50 times or try it with a different controller because it can be kind of hard. Then it's most recently, it's probably the most recent f file that you recorded. Um, you click that. Um, you can also just do any other one that you've ever recorded. You want to press select, and then you can uh, title, change all of this. This is all algorithm. I can teach you guys that later. Um, you can add a thumbnail from your quest, which I don't recommend doing. But then, uh, yes. Oh, I uh, sorry, I forgot stuff. Must log in on your browser to your YouTube account, um, and then you're gonna go to visibility, and I. Um, and then if you're going to edit it, press unlisted or private. Once you do that, you press save. Okay. You can press close. Now, what you'll see is this. This is uploading right now. So it might take a little bit. Um, but that's all good. So what you have to do now is you pretty much just have to set your headset on the ground but like make sure it doesn't turn off when you set it on the ground or you can just keep it on and go a tag with your browser running in the back now that you've got that all set up um you're going to want to go onto your phone and go to the youtube app on your phone once you're there um you want to go to um your channel 
and then uh this is for mobile by the way um i'll show the pc version of local and you would press manage videos once you see once you're there um your video is if you don't see it it's probably still uploading hey guys, there's or a the new uploading glitched and if you do see it um that means you can click on it and what you can do is you can screen record it this is the easy way for mobile and then once you're done screen recording it you can bring it into a editing app such as vita or CapCut, and you can edit it and then post it so um personally i recommend vita as a mobile editing platform um it's free it's really nice uh don't use their templates because they're made for like tiktok but the thing is um uh like their interface is super nice so i recommend using it and it's kind of just easy to learn like i've only edited on it for a year and i'm pretty good at it now if you want to upload it to pc what you're going to do is you're going to want to grab a cord um a, a cord that can connect so a usb to a usb c which is the oculus plugin the usb c uh, it's a little oval looking thing and then a usb is just a pretty larger rectangle um and then once you have that plug the usb into your uh into your pc and plug the usb c into your quest then there's going to be a pop-up on your quest that says would you like this pc to be able to access your files or something along the lines of that you want to press yes and then once you've done that it automatically opens a little page where you um where you can extract the files on your pc just automatically opens it really nice and then you choose the files and you just save them and then from there uh, you can edit them on a pc editing software if you're very 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 new i just recommend using clipchamp but um even if you've edited for like a month i use davinci resolve the free version because i'm not rich the non-free version is like 500 dollars um and if you're willing to pay like 90 bucks a year so like seven dollars a month i would also very much recommend filmora filmora is very good for uh its price so yeah and once you have that um you you'll figure out how to export it f off of your pc or your phone if you want to learn how to make really good thumbnails i'm gonna have a a video in the comment section it's going to be pinned in the comments you guys go look at that that's probably my friend the dude also he's super good at making thumbnails like i don't know how he does it because i'm still not good at it, good as he is after watching his video but he goes in really deep um not really deep but he goes in how you should make them perfectly so shout out the dude also good work dude um also go give him support so yeah see you guys later um join my discord to be in cool live streams make sure to subscribe uh yeah if you're in the discord you get to join special videos that nobody else can join unless you're in the discord so um definitely like this video subscribe share it to your friends if you want to um help them be a youtuber too and um yeah if you want um another version just that goes more in depth i'll post that uh, if this gets 50 likes so yeah see you guys in the next video